There may be a crisis of governance in Belize right now, but the Musa you're most likely to see on television is not Said. It's his son Yasser. And the reason has nothing to do with politics. While his dad comes under increasing fire, Yasser seems to build on success, whether as president of Niche or, as in today's case, proprietor of the image factory. Musa continues to introduce Belizeans to a world of art that has few limits. The latest offering comes from a former student whose talent has grown to an impressive level. News 5's Stuart Crone reports. Off the coast of Belize and enclosed within the waters of the light of Lighthouse Reef lies an island known as Half Moon Key. Many creatures enjoy sanctuary here. It's a slim little book. Indeed, two standard six students from Wesley Upper read it aloud in less than ten minutes. But what a gem. In 38 pages of imaginative illustrations and elegant text, 22-year-old Ian Sean Gibson has managed to produce a children's book that is at once both universal and unmistakably Belizean. The island was not an island after all. It was a whale who had been swimming around in the blue hole for some time now and had at that moment spread a fountain of water over its blue hole. Gibson, a graduate of SJC, produced Booby Trap as his senior project to graduate from Savannah College of Art and Design in Georgia. And while he now has some academic credentials to accompany his natural talent, Gibson has been into art for a long time. I was at the age of, I believe, five or six, and I, there was a friend of mine who was a lot older than me and drew cartoons. And I guess uh, it's also partially acquired because I would look at his cartoons, and I wasn't very good at it at first, but I keep drawing his cartoons over and over and over, um, trying to mimic what he did, and eventually it just developed into my own style. And that style has combined fascinating drawings with a storyline involving the relationship between frigates and booby birds at Half Moon Key that manages to push environmentalism without being pushy. According to Sean, it was his mother, pioneering Belizean conservationist Janet Gibson, who set him on the right track. She wanted to do something where the booby birds, she felt sorry for them and that um, you want to cast them in a light where you can understand um, what kind of suffering they're going through so you can understand like uh, how pristine Half Moon Key is and how it should be untouchable um, because it's, uh, it's a very quirky ecosystem and it, it deserves um, remaining untouched and preserved. But don't for a minute think that Booby Trap is just another kid's book about the world of animals. The most important message carried by Gibson's birds goes straight to the heart of the human condition. You might be oppressed in life, but um, just if you have the willpower, you can overcome anything. Stuart Crone for News 5. Gibson hopes that Booby Trap will be the first of a series built around local animals. The book, printed by Print Belize, is on sale at the Image Factory and other bookstores for $15.